today I'd like to share something that the Lord has done for me at one point. Um, where I was going to be a counselor at a camp. My pastor was driving in my car to down there. And my dad checked the radiator, made sure I had plenty of fluids and anything for oil and all that. She got there down there fine, parked the car. My pastor said, you know, the bus is going to be parking here, why don't you move up? So I turned the car back on, go forward, turn the car off, boom, my radiator busts right there and then. I thought it was interesting to note the fact that it didn't bust when I pushed up the car off and parked, but the second time it did where I should be parking. Um, on top of that, uh, one guy that was going to help me deal with it had other problems he had to deal with. So, um, he couldn't help me with my car at all that week. He had uh, other family stuff taken care of. And it came time to go home and I hadn't had a ride. So I just went looking around trying to get a ride. But nobody could give me a ride. Um, my pastor, he was able to get home because his wife came up with their kids, so like, and they had like tons of stuff because their whole family came up to, uh, for the camping, uh, trip, and so their car was literally jam-packed, there is no way I could have gotten in that car at all, um, so as I'm going about, I, like, decided, you know what, okay, the only th option I have is to get on the bus, bus going to Chicago. I live in Indiana. I'm in Indiana. So it's like this how I'm just going to have to walk home or something. I don't know what I was going to do. <clears> hour <throat> passes. Mm, nothing. Second hour comes about. And the bus still hasn't come at all yet. And it's like I don't know what it was. It was just kind of like bam. Like the bus isn't going to come and until I get a ride, and so it's like, at least, the, I don't know if I was thinking that or what, or that just popped in my mind, but I went and I asked around for a ride again, and I got a ride. Um, previously they said they couldn't, now they can give you a ride, so yeah, that was cool, and then just as I get a ride, boom, the bus shows up, it's like, yeah! Um, so, in that whole aspect, it was kind of like, I guess kind of like, you know, was saying to this one guy, it's like, yes, I knew the bus was going to come until I got a ride, and it's like, yeah, okay. I, I can understand why he would be kind of like, oh, brother. But, it kind of taught me, like, you know, the whole parable about the 99 sheep with the long lost sheep, because like, 99 were safe. Everybody else was safe. They had a ride home. I was at a sheet, so to speaking. I needed the ride home. And the bus got lost for about two hours. Don't know how that happened, but um, I think that is the way the Lord had it worked out. And sometimes, you know, we think that God doesn't really care or is concerned about us, but... I think sometimes some ministries can't go ahead in their ministry until they actually get that one lost person that's in their church or whatever, probably. And it's just kind of an eye-opener for me. It's like, you know, that's just my testimony there. So, um, and something to remember what God has done. Amen. Uh, I did forget to mention, got yeah, one thing, um, when I got home, me and my dad we went back, we got brought a new radiator, we fixed it, and I was able to bring my car back home. So, yeah.